What's up guys, it's FM Tech Source and welcome to Setup Wars episode 112 where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. If you guys want to participate, you know what to do. Make sure to watch the video linked below. Uh, with that said and done, ladies and gentlemen, let the Setup Wars begin. This episode of Setup Wars is sponsored by Wikibuy. So check this out guys, if you're a human being then chances are you probably like saving money. Wikibuy does just that. It finds lower prices from other online sellers when you shop on Amazon and displays how much money you can potentially save. It even applies coupon codes automatically on hundreds of retailer sites like eBay, Jet.com and even Target. How it works is simple. When you search for products on Amazon, for example, you will see a green box under the price and when you hover over it, it will not only give you the price history, but it will also tell you where you can buy it cheaper and save money. Wikibuy consistently finds savings on electronics, hardware and even gaming accessories and the best part is that it's free and it doesn't require any extra work. If you guys want to try it out yourself and potentially save some money, click on the link in the description section to download the extension. Again, it's completely free. So starting off the show is Brian and his impressive custom-made water-cooled PC desk that's running on a 6700K and an EVGA GTX 1080. He also custom-built some shelves on the sides and a monitorizer that's holding up his Acer Predator Z35 Gaming Ultra Wide Monitor. What's interesting about the setup is that Brian is rocking two sets of speakers because one is too mainstream. We got two tiny Sengu bamboo speakers up top and two massive floor speakers from Serwin Vega on the bottom of his setup. I mean, do you really need speakers that big for a gaming setup? It kind of seems overkill. He's also using the Royal Kludge Pro 104 keyboard and the EVGA Toro X5 mouse. Fun fact, that's actually the same keyboard I used for my Wolverine setup video, although I did use a white one and painted it yellow instead. He does have a pair of DT770s as well when he's not using the speakers and he's got that hooked up to the Pyle amplifier. He definitely has some taste in audio gear, I'll give him that. It's a bit overkill, but he's got taste. Cable management is pretty good for the most part, although there is one loose cable under the PC that kind of bothers me, along with the cables running down from the headset and monitors. But overall, it's a very organized and impressive gaming setup. Thank you, Brian, for entering. This next one kind of reminds me of Emil's gaming setup in the sense that Justin also mounted his monitor and PC against the wall. By the way, for those of you that aren't following my Instagram account, Emil recently got his ultra-wide monitor and here is what his setup looks like now with the LG monitor installed. So when you look at the setup from a distance, you can see that it's actually a floating desk that he designed and built himself. The monitor and PC aren't exactly mounted against the wall directly. He's also got two different setups. The right side is using the 34 inch ultra wide from Samsung that's hooked up to his custom PC and on the left side is an MSI laptop. He didn't list what CPU he is using but he is running on the X99 chipset with 32 gigs of RAM and the Galax Hall of Fame GTX 1080. I'm loving that white and black color scheme, but I feel like that black color from the PSU on the bottom doesn't really belong there. This is definitely a strange recommendation, but a custom PSU cover in white would look a lot better in my opinion. For audio, he's using a pair of Bose Companion 5 speakers for the main setup, and then we got the Skull Candy Crusher wireless headphones for the laptop setup. He does have a 12 South MacBook stand on the far left, but I don't see a MacBook and he didn't mention it in the notes, so I'm confused why that's there. For peripherals, he's using two Logitech G502 mice for both setups and a Corsair Vengeance K70 keyboard. Cable management is very clean, especially for a setup like this. Excellent work bundling the wires together and keeping it hidden under the desk. Even above the desk, the cables are hidden very well, thanks to the holes that Justin drilled for each piece of tech. A lot of thought and planning has gone into this setup and it definitely shows. I just feel like it's missing something. There's a lot of extra space above your monitor and PC and I feel like if you fill that up with some posters or even some shelves with some products on top, it would look complete. Regardless, excellent job on all the custom work. This is a gorgeous setup indeed. Thank you Justin for entering. At number 3 we have Nima with a Razer themed music production setup featuring the 29 inch Asus monitor and a 50 inch Samsung Plasma TV up top. Below that he's using the Razer All Breaver keypad and the Ouroboros gaming mouse. So instead of going with a Razer keyboard to match the rest of the gear, he picked up the Microsoft Designer keyboard and mouse which I'm guessing is used for mixing and editing music, while the Razer mice are used for gaming. 
For audio, he's rocking two giant Yamaha HS7 monitor speakers on its sides and a pair of M50Xs. The PC powering this setup has an all black color scheme featuring the 5930K 6 core processor. We got 32 gigs of RAM and two ASUS Strix 970s in SLI. This is also the first time that I've seen the Bitphoenix Pandora case in action. I can't really see the cable management because the backboard is blocking off everything, but from what I can tell by looking inside the drawers, is that he keeps everything very tidy and organized. It's a very symmetrical and clean setup with purpose. Thank you, Nima, for entering. Speaking of symmetry, check out Peter's Battle Station. It's got three 27-inch Dell monitors, a Logitech G29 driving wheel for racing games, and an Xbox One for console games. For PC gaming, he's using the Philco Magis Touch keyboard and the Logitech G900 wireless gaming mouse. He does have quite a few audio devices hooked up to the PC, like the Sound Blaster X Katana soundbar, and we got the Presonus Studio Monitor speakers, but he's also got the Corsair H2100 headset and the Sennheiser HD800 headphones. There's definitely a lot of stuff on his desk, but I think he did a great job organizing it, and almost everything has its purpose. There isn't anything extra, like action figures or IKEA plants, to take up the space. He even did a great job with the cable management. We got lots of cable sleeves, channel raceways, and boxes were used to hide the wires. Nicely done. The PC pushing all these pixels is running on the 5820K and 2GB GTX 1080s in SLI. So the things I like about this setup are the posters on the wall, the symmetry, and the cable management. The only thing I don't like about the setup are the stickers you put on the walls. What's worse is that some of them are Razer stickers. Really? <laughs> Regardless, it's a pretty sick battle station. Thank you, Peter, for entering. Last but not least, we got the return of Stanlerd with an upgraded setup. I don't remember what setup he was featured on before, but it looks like he added a fourth monitor if I'm not mistaken. So now he's got three 27-inch Dell gaming monitors and a 27-inch 4K monitor up top, although I don't like the fact that it's blocking the posters behind. It looks like he kept the black and red Dead Space theme from before as well. I think the Snowball Ice microphone is also new because I don't remember it from his old setup. However, he does still have the Corsair K95 RGB keyboard with the ROG Spatha and that badass custom Dead Space mouse pad from Inked Gaming. That's definitely something I won't forget. For audio, he's still rocking the Bose Companion 5 speakers and the wireless Void headset from Corsair. Cable management was perfect before, and it's still perfect. There's a crap ton of cables behind the monitors, but none of it is visible from the front, and everything is kept off the ground with some zip ties and cable clips. And finally, the PC is also the same. It's still rocking the 5820K and three GTX 970s in SLI in that custom loop. Very minor improvements from before, but regardless, it's still an updated setup, so thank you, Stanlerd, for entering again. So that is it for this episode of Setup Wars. As always, make sure you guys drop your comments below and vote on who you think has the best desk setup. Now, if you guys want to enter for a chance to win $25 Amazon gift card, you guys have to vote using the nice app link below. As always, four people are randomly selected and announced at the end of the month. Anyways, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.